and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he he does what if we ask according to his will for asking he hears why does he hear because we asked in the name of Jesus and when you ask in the name of Jesus he hears you it's impossible not to hear you because when you ask in the name of Jesus it's as though Jesus is asking because he gave you the power of our journey to ask or stand in his stead to speak in his name so when you pray in the name of Jesus the father hears you he hears I want you to understand here he's talking about hearing when God hears you when you pray according to his will for praying he hears you he hears if it's not according to his will for praying he don't hear you he hears when you pray according to his will for praying now watch so look at that he hears us then he says next and if we know that he hears us if he's heard us whatsoever whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him if we know that he hears we got it it says when you pray according to his will he hears and if you know that he hurt you it's done done deal you don't have to worry will he do it will he do it is he gonna uh -uh. if he hears you it's done and how's he gonna hear you pray according to his will for praying hallelujah all the promises of God in Christ are yes now you have no right to pray wrong prayers when do you pray wrong when you consume upon your lust when you walk in the same spirit with God you don't ask amiss when you walk in love you don't ask amiss just because somebody cheated you you don't have to ask God to take actions against him the Bible says that we should have the same spirit and the same mind with Jesus Christ and act like him You know what the Bible says don't get mad don't get angry just because somebody did something against you that you know maybe he, he stole from you hey come on why should you be mad why so angry how much can they steal how much water can they steal from the ocean I've seen Christians so angry because somebody took something from them. Oh, he cheated me. He got this money from me. He didn't return it. He promised to return it. He didn't bring it back. And they really want to, they're like, they're going to kill him. And I'm thinking, are you Christian or what? Do you know what it is to be a Christian? Is that all you have? Have you come this far to be broke? Is that all you have? What Jesus say? Somebody takes your coat. He says, let him have your cloak too. Is that what Jesus said? Uh -huh. Don't get mad. Don't be so angry. And pray the judgment of God upon him. This is the hour of grace 
and we are ministers of grace not ministers of judgment the day of judgment will come but that day is not now So God doesn't expect us to pray those kind of prayers. We're so upset with the landlord, we want to kill him. You are going to know I'm a child of God. You, are go- you, 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 you think God is as mad as you. He's not. In fact, while you're trying to kill him, he's trying to save them. He's just loving them more. He's so loving them he tries to love them through you with all of your anger think about it the more of God's word we know the more accurate our prayers will be